So this is the Suburban Water Heater on your Cherokee Gray Wolf product. Now this water heater is a great water heater. They use it very widely in the industry. Um, one thing that you're gonna need to know about it is it does use an anode rod. The Suburban has a steel line tank. So this plug right here pulls out and we usually see this in the fall of the year when we winterize. Um, what this anode rod does is it will dissipate and not allow the tank to rust. So it's important that we maintain these anode rods and keep them in good shape. And again, a great time of year to check the anode rod is when we winterize the unit and we drain the tank for the season. Now this heater has two heat sources as well. It's going to have a gas heat source so we can heat our tank with LP from the camper on the A-frame or we can use an electric heating element. Now the LP portion is controlled from a switch inside the unit located on your monitor panel. Now the electric side of it is controlled by a small switch down here that says on and off and that's going to turn the electric heating element on. Be careful not to use the electric heating element when you are using your air conditioner. It's about a 10 amp draw for this electric heating element in conjunction with an air conditioner. You could be potentially pulling too many amps in your camper and you'll trip the breaker at the pedestal. So with your air conditioner on, I recommend using gas as a heat source for my water heater.